Okay guys, welcome back. In this lesson we will calculate our net present value for this investment. So let's write net present value or short NPV. Enter, let's copy this style here. Alt T, -T enter. And to calculate our net present value, what we will first need is a discount rate. And in our case, it will be our target IRR. So write target IRR, which will be given in percentage. And from an investor's perspective, in our input sheet, we will set up a target IRR choice. So if we scroll to the top, we will have our valuation dashboard here. And let's add a few rows here. So select row 12 and hit control plus a few times. Maybe let's push our general assumptions to row 38 like this. So that gives us plenty of space for our valuation dashboard. And first thing we will have here in column C is our target IRR valuation. Hit Alt H J and let's select the header one. And first thing here is going to be our perspective. So we just set it up for now, but this is something for a later lesson. So we can switch our perspective from an investor's perspective and a project developer's perspective. And then we will integrate a choice for our target IRR valuation to be turned on or turned off. So let's also set that up already, but this will also be something for a later lesson. So essentially the end user will have the choice to select whether we want to calibrate the enterprise value of this asset on a target IRR basis, or if we want to see what this investment is worth from a project developer's perspective instead, which means we would turn off our target IRR valuation. And then last but not least, we will have our target levered IRR for valuation like this, hit enter. And this is going to be in percentage and those two inputs here, the unit will be a choice. So we will have a drop down menu. This is also going to be a choice. Let's mark all those cells here. Hit Alt H J and this is going to be a unit style. And from our information memorandum, we know that our target level IRR for valuation purposes from an investor's perspective is going to be 6%. So let's type in 6% here, hit Alt H J, this is an input and hit Alt H J, that is also a percentage like this, hit enter. So essentially our end investor will be happy with a target levered IRR of 6%. And what this means is that our in our valuation sheet, we should get a positive net present value, meaning that an end investor will say this investment is worth more than 9 million. And what the delta is between those 9 million and the price that the investor is willing to pay for will represent our net present value. So our net present value is essentially the delta between what our investment costs from a project developer's perspective and what an investor is going to pay as a premium on top of this. So what we'll calculate here is our net present value at our target IRR. Hit enter. And this is going to be in thousands of euros. Copy paste. And first we will need our target IRR, which we will have from our input sheet. So let's pull this in from here, 6%, hit enter. Alt H J, that's a percentage. Alt H J, that's also an offsheet item. Hit enter. And then for our NPV calculation, this is going to equal, and again, we will have different choices of NPV calculations, but we will use our X NPV calculation again. So select X NPV. First, we will have to select a rate. So let's select our 6% here. Then our values, which are going to be here. It's the same as for the IRR. So select this entire row here from column I up until column FU, comma, and then our dates are going to be up here from column I in row five up until column FU. 
close parentheses, hit enter, alt hj, comma zero, alt hj, that's an inchi calculation, hit enter. And you can see a potential investor would say that this investment is 18.4 million more worth than the 9 million what it costs, assuming a target IRR rate of 6% only. So from a project developer's perspective, that's amazing news. As a potential investor would value this asset being 18.4 million worth more than the costs of the project developer. So let's bolt this figure, hit control B. And with this lesson, we have sufficiently valued our net present value, meaning that we have determined the price surplus that an investor would be willing to pay on top of those 9 million equity investment. All right, great guys. I will see you in the next lesson.